Canto 4, The Secret Knowledge On a height he stood, that looked towards greater heights, our early approaches to the infinite, and sunrise splendors on a marvelous verge, while lingers yet unseen the glorious sun. What now we see is a shadow of what must come, the earth's uplook to a remote unknown is a preface only of the epic climb of human soul from its flat earthly state to the discovery of a greater self and the far gleam of an eternal light. This world is a beginning and a base where life and mind erect their structured dreams. An unborn power must build reality. A death-bound littleness is not all we are. Immortal are forgotten vastnesses await discovery in our summit selves. Unmeasured breadths and depths of being are ours, akin to the ineffable secrecy. Mystic, eternal, and unrealized time, neighbors of heaven are nature's altitudes. To these high peak dominions sealed to our search, too far from surface nature's postal routes, too lofty for our mortal lives to breathe, deep in us a forgotten kinship points, and a faint voice of ecstasy and prayer calls to those lucent lost immensities. Even when we fail to look into our souls or lie embedded in earthly consciousness, still have we parts that grow towards the light. Yet are there luminous tracks in heaven serene and Eldorados of splendor and ecstasy and temples to the Godhead none can see. A shapeless memory lingers in us still and sometimes, when our sight is turned within, Earth's ignorant veil is lifted from our eyes. There is a short, miraculous escape. This narrow fringe of clamped experience we leave behind meted to us as life. Our little walks, our insufficient reach, our soul can visit in great lonely hours, still regions of imperishable light, all seeing eagle peaks of silent power and moon flame oceans of swift fathomless bliss and calm immensities of spirit space. In the unfolding process of the self, sometimes the inexpressible mystery elects a human vessel of descent. A breath comes down from a supernal air, a presence is born, a guiding light awakes, a stillness falls upon the instruments. Fixed, motionless like a marble monument, stone calm, the body is a pedestal, supporting a figure of eternal peace or a revealing force sweeps blazing in, out of some vast superior continent. Knowledge breaks through, trailing its radiant seas, and nature trembles with the power, the flame. A greater personality sometimes possesses us which yet we know is ours, or we adore the master of our souls. Then the small bodily ego thins and falls, no more insisting on its separate self, losing the punctilio of its separate birth it leaves us one with nature and with God. In moments when the inner lamps are lit and life's cherished guests are left outside, our spirit sits alone and speaks to its gulfs. A wider consciousness opens than its doors, invading from spiritual silences. A ray of the timeless glory stoops a while to commune with our seized illumined clay and leaves its huge white stamp upon our lives. And the oblivious field of mortal mind revealed to the closed prophet eyes of trance or in some deep internal solitude witnessed by a strange immaterial sense the signals of eternity appear the truth mind could not know unveils its face we hear what mortal ears have never heard we feel what earthly sense has never felt we love what common hearts repel and dread our minds hush to a bright omniscient a voice calls from the chambers of the soul. We meet the ecstasy of the Godhead's touch in golden privacies of immortal fire. These signs are native to a larger self that lives within us by ourselves unseen. Only sometimes a holier influence comes. A tide of mightier surgings bear our lives and a diviner presence moves the soul. Or through the earthly coverings, something breaks. A grace and a beauty of spiritual light the murmuring tongue of a celestial fire. Ourself and a high stranger whom we feel it is, and acts unseen as if it were not, it follows the line of sempiternal birth. 
yet seems to perish with its mortal frame. Assured of the apocalypse to be, it reckons not the moments and the hours. Great, patient, calm it sees the centuries pass, awaiting the slow miracle of our change, in the sure deliberate process of world force and the long march of all revealing time. It is the origin and the master clue, a silence overheard, an inner voice, a living image seated in the heart, an unwalled wideness and a fathomless point, the truth of all these cryptic shows in space, the real towards which our strivings move, the secret grandiose meaning of our lives. A treasure of honey in the combs of God, a splendor burning in a tenebrous cloak, it is our glory of the flame of God, a golden fountain of the world's delight, an immortality cowled in the cape of death, the shape of our unborn divinity. It guards for us our fate in depths within, where sleeps the eternal seed of transient things. Always we bear in us a magic key, concealed in life's hermetic envelope. A burning witness in the sanctuary regards through time and the blind walls of form. A timeless light is in his hidden eyes. He sees the secret things no words can speak and knows the goal of the unconscious world and the heart of the mystery of the journeying years.